What's up guys, Yellow here for more Vampire. Um, I have a bunch of pepperoni in my mouth right now. Well, I don't have any more in my mouth. I have it stuck in my teeth, I should say. So, knock, 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 motherfucker. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again, go away. No, 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 no. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. Mr. Doctor. You too believe in providing medical Doctor, care Mister? without charge. Who's you know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I this guy's cool. If your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. That's easy enough. Come on, I like giving free meds out too, man. Honestly. I'm hoping I can just take whatever I see. Like, it's not free stuff. You don't mind that I just opened your safe in front of you, do you? Alright, that's good. I think fear the Vigorara. It's locked, alright. It's locked. It's locked. Sure is locked. Locked as a motherfucker. Hey, uh, hey, hey, dude, I'm, I'm gonna take your shillings. Hope that's cool. It's like, I don't give a fuck. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally... Courtyard introduced. and stairs, gotcha. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. It's just a little print shop. It's not a big deal. It's just what it is. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. Hmm. That's all you need to know. She oh, seems yeah. important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. That's pretty cool. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. Oh, shit. I do shit, not believe dog. in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Patricia? Easy, buddy. Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here. That's all we know. Camellia is not... Not even her real name. name. <laughs> it's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly <laughs> follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. He's right. Come on now. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute Didn't forest. I already do this? Hey. Come on. I'm done. I know you fought for your country Whoa. when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. I Doctor. still see a dark future ahead for my people. Doctor! How did you meet Nurse Crane, Dad? Oh, 
Why does she tough questions? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly. Occupy Romania. Your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As yes. dead as I am for them, I suppose. Kinda sad. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. Dude, if I was in this place I'd go back. Now it's free and obviously better than this fucking shit that's going on right now, at least. All right, later. Thanks for your shillings. Uh, across the thing, down the stairs. 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 Should I be taking these? Like, these are like the medicines that they need for this place. Well, why am I taking them? Seems like it's a bad thing. They're all NBC NPCs, it doesn't matter, right? Ooh, shillings. Five fat fucking shillings, dog. I think it's like the common, most common amount of shillings so far. I'm sure there's down the stairs. He said, "Not up the stairs, down the stairs." Those are the only stairs I see. So, oh, letter to Nurse Crane, my dear Dorothea. Okay. I'm gonna read that if you need to. I really want to get. In, I'm gonna probably watch a bunch of YouTube videos about the lore of uh, vampire, as opposed to trying to find it out myself. So there's that. It's a pretty shitty way of playing, but it doesn't look like there's any downstairs. So I'm gonna go upstairs. Maybe it just said take the stairs. Uh, is there some fucking Quarnine, that's what's in my energy drink I just drank. I, I just finished drinking. Uh, yeah. I got you. What up? What do we have here? Patient Raz Van Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can right I in do the throat. He's going to open up his throat so he can breathe. Tricky out of me. It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, doctor. None at all. Well, shit. Very well. I was cutting the fuck open. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. 
Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lungs. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Don't question me, nurse. I need Bitch. a drain. Now. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I'm so horny for blood. I First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac... what? Are you making this up as you go along? Yes. Um, no. What? No. I mean, yes. But probably not. Just kidding, he's dead. Maybe if you were to cardiac massaged when I asked you to. We've lost the pulse. Yeah, I, I figured he, that out. He's gone, Doctor. Yes, we did everything we could. Truly? Except that everything cardiac massage I told you to do. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. And drink it. I mean, and, and, and study it. But maybe drink it. But study it, mainly. And maybe drink it. There's, there's that. There we go. Also, put some in my flask here. Actually, I'm here to steal all your goodies in this chest. It's locked. Shit. So what do I owe this courtesy? Uh, looks like five shillings at least, and anything else I can find. This is an unfitting place for the illustrious Doctor Reed. You shouldn't. You're unfitting. What's up? Stop being unf unfit. Uh, I suspect oh. it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. You could say that. So, uh, well. how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Well, you know. I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Yeah. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have she her hungry. where she belongs. And I'll milk her for all she's got. I get that. Doctor Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor, 
Just another fine heel, the oldest old gentleman who was given the world on the platter. See, there's some not or some sour. Nothing of the shame, Great song. the hunger, the loneliness. Leave that in the comments below, which song that I just sang. Black man, what's that? You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all but... the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? You'll forget about this. Embrace. Oh no. What do I pick? So, embrace means. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna say spare. Look away, but you resign. No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So, here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. New citizens are available to kill. What in the motherfuck? Need escape, need escape, need escape, heal. Really like to heal right about now. Really would like to heal right about now. Wasn't very nice of you, sir. I hope I actually stopped the blackmailing. I don't think I did, though. Wish I could kind of take that back. Stay away. What now, man? Just no, try, and, warning, sir. try and get the fuck out, guys. Come on. Effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial. The Swanborough Cordial. So there's that. 
I can trash. I can trash this check can. I can check this trash can. So I need to go. Uh huh. This way, huh? It's locked. Nope. Guess not. Kind of forgot how I got in here in the first place. This elixir will give you faith that elixir. Guess down here. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. No. If you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Yeah? What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. Okay. You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Tramp. No trampy. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. All right. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just just faked me last nerve. That's pretty rough. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Good motherfucking bye, doggy. Oh, we need to go backwards or something. You go to the lefty left. Do left. There we are. Me, I'll not die in some piss stinking alley break you worse than a week off laughing. What what the fuck did you just say? Make sure yep. Take a right one, I can take one. This is locked. JK doggy. Not locked. Up and kinda of just forward, really. Human blood. Whoever left Shh. these marks did so deliberately. Well fuck. Kill it, boy! Well hi there. Ow! Just smacked me with a goddamn. Come 
Come on. Fuck off, dude. Ouch. Open, 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 no. okay. Well, this is the whole thing, isn't it? Shooting with the shotgun, man. I don't like it. Vincent Sheen and Toby Sheen, no doubt brothers of probably the same mother in this day and age. Ow, dude, shit, dog. Chill out a second, man. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Big Vince, man, come on, what are you doing? You dying, buddy? You dying? <laughs> down. This is down. Little guy, little guy, buddy. Hell. Little brother, no doubt. Here. 
Yeah, that just hurt, didn't it? Oh god, oh no. That was close. Let me some of your blood. Thank you, sirs. I'll be on my way. Come back to kill your buddy here. You hit me. Ow, you hit me. I told you, I said you can't hit me. Why'd you hit me? That was fucking badass. I just turned around, fucking blood spirit those whores. That was fucking badass. I'm just, gonna, I'm just saying that out. I'm just saying that right now. Fucking badass, doggy. Yeah. I got grease and screws. That's what my life is. Except the screwing part. So there's that. That guy again? He really fucked me up last time I fought him, so I'm just gonna not, not fuck with the dude. Seems like the best option, I'd say. So if I was hospital, how would I get into you? Uh, this way, maybe, yeah. That noise sounds Thelma like happiness. Thelma Halcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. You're Where are they hiding? From? I should investigate. Investigation. You have the right to Lady Asbury. Right here. Excuse me, pardon you? Lady Asbury, not here either. I'm in the mirror, that's weird. Wouldn't think I would be. Uh, so whatever. Lady Asbury. Lady Asbury. <laughs> Easy. Chill out, doggy. Well, shit. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. This bitch, man. Give him one of those. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps Just ultimate post Darwin times or the situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. You're awkward. I have not been observed I sustaining got her. myself for many years. I have to say awkward. I'm a trifle embarrassed. She's just sitting anyway, there about it. I have She's embarrassed. my inquiries concerning your blackmail. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right, say sure. I trust you, but you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. So you say. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could 
hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a Skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Very well, I've heard enough, I think. Uh, apparently have not. Of course you remember. Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word. Defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an echo, and that you shall remain. So we are Echons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Echon are vampires, but all vampires are not Echon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created Hush. All right, it's been... Yes. Excuse my forwardness. Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a problem. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their pro. Kind of want to get through understand. this real quick. That is a question only the one who made you can. So, me being. I very much doubt it. Do you want to know how I'd in like this to world vampires are created? Anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Okay. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. That is about enough of that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. 
Excuse me, pardon me. This way, I believe, is my... Yeah, at the end of the hall, Jonathan Reed. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Analysis. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but mm. also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Yeah, Is the yes. London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Alright, that's the end of chapter two. Uh, we're gonna do chapter three here. Uh, start of chapter three next time. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.